Hi dancers, welcome back to Technique Week with Drea. I'm Drea and today we'll be doing some Kathak. Now before we start I'd like to preface that I'm actually not a Kathak dance teacher at all, I'm a Bollywood fusion teacher. So these drills are with the intention of Kathak fusion style Bollywood dances, kind of like what Madhuri does. Okay, so I'll be showing you two main technique exercises and drills for us to practice together. Let's get into it. So the very first thing you learn is Utpati position. So this is kind of like you're doing CPR with your hands and you're taking the Arala Mudra into the center. Elbows are typically more lifted. So in Bharatanatyam, the position is something like this. This is kind of our first position of arms. And like in Kathak, it's a little bit higher. So you kind of want it to be like your elbow to be slightly lower than your shoulder and then a flat line going all the way through here. So the, what's really amazing about Kathak is doing these drills really help us learn the lines of our body, which gives us good sync as dancers. So Utpati, Arala position in the center. Now, the feet. The feet are typically turned out just a little bit. So heels together, toes apart, a little bit of space in between. They should be directly underneath your hip points. Weight evenly distributed through your feet. Tatka is what they call the footwork or what we call the footwork. So the tatka drill is right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Okay, so let's do that. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, Right. Now in Kathak, when they're doing like traditional Kathak, they count it with a thalam. So ta, te, ta, tat, a, te, ta, tat, something like that. But we're just going to count it with one, two, three, four. So we get the, you know, gist of it. Now with our feet, it goes right, left, right, heel, left, right, left, heel. Okay. When we're doing this, we obviously are shifting our body very slightly side to side, but you don't want to do it in an extreme way like you're on a boat. So you want to kind of just like stay really lifted through your body. Imagine lengthening through your spine. Personally, this is one of the things that I'm working on. I'm very flexible, so I tend to slouch. So I'm really consciously thinking all the time about lifting up. So we're going to go right, left, right, left, and we're going to do it at that speed. Ready? Five, six, seven, just feet. One, two, three, and heel. Left, right, left, heel. Right, left, stay lifted, heel. Left, right, left. You can put your hands in a rala position, utpati in the middle. That's it, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, in classical dance, there are typically around three speeds, like slow pace, medium pace, and extreme pace. That's the traditional, <laughs> that's the traditional name for it, extreme. Um, today we're going to do slow and we're gonna do medium. So that was slow, let's do medium. So we want to kind of like make that double time. So we were going at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see how much faster that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, heel, left, right, left, heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, stay lifted. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just try that with music. Before we start it with music, one thing as you get faster, you have to remember is rolling your heel and then your flat foot. So by that, I mean heel flat, heel flat, heel flat, heel flat. This is something I really struggled with when I first started learning um, any dance with a strong footwork because you kind of don't want to miss that beat and you don't want to be heel and then flat. Like you don't want to be late on the beat. So what we do um, in flamenco, what we do in Kathak, what we do in Bharatanatyam is roll the heel and then the flat. So it's like and one, and two, and three. So you get used to kind of hitting it and then hitting it again and not taking that pause. And one, and two, and three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now let's try it with music. When you're practicing, you can either put your hands away, like you've got pockets on the side, palms out, or you can have utpati position. All right, we're going to go right, left, right, heel. Slow speed. Five, six, seven, lifting up. Two, three, heel. 
and feel. Two, three, same foot, down. That's it. Heel, same foot. Lovely. Two, three, and heel. One, two, three, staying lifted. One, two, three, heel. That's it. And heel. And heel. Two, three, heel. Ready? Let's go double time. And one, two, three, heel. Heel, one, two, three, heel, same. Heel, same foot. That's it. Roll it through. If you lose it, take a break. And join back in on right. And a right. Left. Right. Left. So it's down. Right. Left. Right. Heel. And right, left, right, and heel. Left, right, left. Good job. Two. Make sure your elbows aren't dropping. We're just passively building that muscle. Ready? And double time. Two, three. Nice. One, two, three. Heel. One, two, three. Heel. One, two, three. Heel. One, two, three. One, two, three. Heel. One, two, three. Heel. Three heel. Four more. And relax. Okay, guys, so with Thutko, which is just the feet, we add the hands. So this is um, my favorite hand drill in the Kathak style. And we'll start with only hands. If you're still getting those feet, you need the feet to do the hands. So just go back and practice it, and then join us back at this point in the video. Um, I might put time codes down the bottom so it's easy to click along. All right, we're going to start with our right hand. Basically, how it goes is we put our right hand lead with the wrist. So imagine there's fishing wire pulling your right over to your side angle. So side angle, we're going to turn it like you're patting the wall, bring it down, and again, leading from your wrist back into Utpati. You repeat the same on the left. Try and get exactly the same angle. One, two, three. Four. Lovely. You're going to go to your front kind of on this side of the face. So imagine there's two lines on either side of your face. You're going to go on the front right one. One, turn it over. Two, three, four. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Now we're going to go to our back corner. So what's back corner, back center. So what's directly behind our midline and we want to aim really, really nice and high so you can see the palm. We're going to go one, turn it over. Three, four. One, turn, three, four. Now we're going to go directly to the side, open it up. So open palm here, close it, bring it back in. Open it up, close it, bring it back in. Now this one, I often struggle with timing. We're going to drop it, take it round. We're going to go three and four. So this is one, two, three and four. When it gets tricky, doing these two, is the hardest and getting it in timing with the feet so remember from here dropping down for one taking it around for two three and four five six seven eight so let's oh my arms hurt let's just stretch them stretch them all up in your shoulder joint stretch your extensor other way if you don't feel this, if you're doing this and you don't feel this, keep a little bend in your elbow. You might be very, very flexible and you might have gone into hyperextension, which sometimes means we don't feel it. And stretch. And stretch. Just holding your arms in one position can really work the muscle. I mean, my grandma sometimes used to punish us by having us like against the wall with our arms out like this. It seems fine at first, but then it's not. Okay, so let's go through our hands. So Utpati position, we're going to go to the right side first. Side, front, back, side horizontal, down and around. Here we go. So five, six, seven, eight, one turn over, bring it down. Two turn over, bring it front. One turn over, bring it down, lift your chin. Follow it with your eyes. One, two, three, nice and tall. One, two, three, twist around, one, Two, take it back. Follow with your face. Two, and back. And down, round, take it back. Down, round, one more time. One, two, 
three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven, back. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, that was a bit fast. Five, six, seven, dropping. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's try it with music. We'll do it quite slow at first, and then as a challenge, let's see if you can do it at that second speed. Havana, oh, na, na. All of my heart is you ready? Havana. Let's start it slow. Five, six, seven, go. Two, three, and heel. And heel. Two, three, and heel. Left, one, two, three, and heel. Back, two, three, and heel. Twist, three, heel. Remember, stay lifted through your spine. Don't let those elbows side. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's do it again. Three and left. Using your core, making sure it's engaged. Belly button to spine. And heel, side. One more time. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and back. Three, and four. Remember leading with your wrist. You got this. Dropping down. Round three, four. Hold tension in your arms, but not your neck. Light through your feet. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try double time with our feet. Then we'll add our hands. Five, six, seven, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back. Back. Woo! One, two, three, four. One. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing Kathak with me, dancers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you love doing Kathak, make sure you get yourself to a Kathak class near you. Um, support the teachers who are doing amazing things and hustling hard to pass on their knowledge to the next generation. I'm going to put out shout outs to the, everyone who's taught me Kathak. I'm super, super honored that they shared their art form with me. Come back tomorrow and we're going to be doing a little bit more Kathak. If you can't wait till then, make sure you click on one of these videos here and here so that you can check out more tutorials and more Drea Choreo. See you then.